How to install a smart valve on your home that will give you peace of mind. Automatic and remote smart valve that you can control with the app no matter where you're at, as long as you have service to your phone. I'm not gonna make any promises that aren't gonna happen. Now think about this. I had a customer call me a couple of years back. We had a bad storm in Dallas. Here's the problem. She's in Mexico. She said, Roger, my neighbors called and said water's pouring out the front of my house. What can you do? Well, if she'd have had an app, she might have been able to shut it off all by herself. What we're talking about today is the Moen. What we're talking about today is the Moen Flow. Now this video is sponsored by Ferguson and Moen. Now we teamed up with Ferguson because they help make stuff like this possible. Guys, this is something every plumber needs to know about. And Moen, well, look, that's the products I have in my house. I've had them forever and they last a long time and their warranties are phenomenal. Okay, so literally what we have here is Flow by Moen. Now, when you open this up and look at it, you know, it looks pretty neat. It's a little box. The cool thing about this little box, it's actually a valve. Now, we talked about the app while ago. I've already installed the app on my phone. You literally go through, it's a very simple setup. Go to the where you get your apps and search Moen. You wanna download the Flow app because when we go to install this, we're gonna to connect to it where we can control this from anywhere. So this is actually proactive leak detection. It's gonna learn your system and it's gonna notify you when there's leaks. It continuously monitors your system. And the good thing about it, say you're out where you're not checking your apps, you're at a concert, you're at the movies where they won't let you check your phone, Guess what? After five minutes, it's gonna shut the system off automatically to protect your home. Don't you wish you had somebody there sitting knowing if your house was leaking continuously around the clock? Well, now you don't have to. Moen Flow's gonna do that for you. So I'm gonna show you all the connectors here real quick because it comes with the adapters, but one of my favorite things in opening this up, this is a spacer and I love this. Here's why. I can literally, now, don't get me wrong, I would put my O-rings on first, but I can put this together and get everything set up. Now, this is a one inch line and we're installing on a three quarter and we're pressing it. So I'm gonna reach down here into the magic drawer and I'm gonna get my adapters. Now, I've already put all this together so I know that when I put this together, just like it's gonna go in the wall and that's one thing I love about the spacer, I don't have to hold on the valve, I don't have to worry about breaking it, I already know my dimensions. I've got it right here with the spacer. So put this together. The magic drawer is great. Everything I've ever needed is in this drawer. I know right here, I need 10 inches. Know right where your makeup is, put it together. We're gonna put Teflon tape on here, seal it up really, really good. But I know I need to cut out 10 inches to put this in. So we're gonna go ahead, make our cut, Put this together, slide it in place, and show you how easy it is to do. Are you ready? Let's step over to the trainer. Now, before we go install this, I'm gonna grab some safety equipment. I'm gonna come over here now. If I had an access door in here, I would be working through an access door. But since I don't, we're using a trainer I'm gonna show you exactly how we would do this in the field. That way, look, this is a great thing for you to offer your customers. First of all, you wanna to go to a line where you know where the water comes into the house. Now, if I had an access door here, which, you know, two, three feet up, that's normally where it would be in a house. So we're gonna make a mark right here and install it. So if this is about where I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and make my first mark and then to make sure it's done right, we're gonna come down exactly 10 inches and make our other mark. Now, guys, I've double checked this measurement twice. This is something I recommend you do. Measure twice, cut once. I've got 10 inches marked on both sides. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get in here and cut it. Now one thing to remember 
about the mow and flow. This is continuously monitoring your system and it's learning your water habits. If you get up every morning at five o'clock, work out and you're in the shower at six, it's gonna make note of that. It's gonna understand your water usage habits. Where this is good is if all of a sudden water starts flowing at two o'clock in the morning and it doesn't stop, pipe broke, spraying water across the entire area. Now, as you can see, it has left a mess behind here. Mo and Flo is gonna understand this is out of the norm. And if you don't catch the app because you're asleep, guess what? After five minutes, it's gonna go ahead and cut your water off. Now, we cut out our piece 10 inches long. I'm gonna go ahead and get both ends ready. Now our adapters. I'm gonna go ahead and prep them. That way, once we cut this in, we just install the valve and we're ready to go. Now, if you're a plumber, do you understand how important this would be for your customers? If you do leak detection, slab leaks, anything like we do, can you imagine going out to a house that has already had issues and being able to let them know, look, not only can we find this problem, not only can we fix this problem, but we can help you make sure this never happens again. How big of a deal would that be? I did a video about this just the other day. Don't over tighten things. Everybody thinks that you've got to get it so tight that maybe you can't see any threads. Let the tape do its job. Get it good and tight. Like I said, don't over tighten. You want it tight enough that it's not gonna leak, but you don't have to just try to kill it. This is ready to go in. So we've got everything cut back into the magic drawer. Okay, got my three quarter inch jaws because we're doing the three quarter inch press. Now, this is a very simple install and I love the way Moen made this. Literally, the way this is made, when this is installed, you can slide this or the valve straight in or straight out. You don't have to make an offset. You don't have to do anything. Pull your nuts up where they're out of the way and this piece slides right in place. Now, the valve will go the exact same way. So, we've got it in where we want it. We know everything's good. I'm gonna go ahead and just snug this up. I've got it where I want it. Press one. Two. Now I'm gonna come through and take my spacer out. Make sure that when you install the valve, your O-rings are in place. That's gonna be a big deal when you don't have leaks. Also make sure you're going with the flow. Now, if you're installing this in the house, you wanna make sure you've double checked. This is where the water comes into the entire house. When you hit the remote and you turn this water off, it's gonna kill water to the entire house. That's gonna be a big deal. All right, so at this point, what you wanna do is a couple of different things. You wanna make sure that you get the power, the adapter plugged in. Now they've got a rubber grommet on top, so you may have to wiggle it around to make sure it goes all the way down in there and stays. Then get your power cord and plug it in. Now the first thing you're gonna see is we've got two blue lights up here. They came on, we know we've got power, things are good. Now I'm gonna take off my glove so I can go through the app. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open the Flow by Moen app. I like that, secure your home, conserve your water. We're gonna add a device right here. It's a one inch smart water shut off. I'm just gonna call it a one inch valve. Next, firmly pushed in. I know I'm pushed in. I've got green and blue lights on there telling me everything's good, so it's firmly pushed in. Plugged it into the supply, next. Push to connect to Wi-Fi. It says once plugged in, Please allow a few seconds after the valve lights turn solid green. So press and hold the reset button for five to 10 seconds until the status light begins to blink. So I'm gonna press and hold that. It is now blinking. So next, like access to the camera, gonna give it that. Now I QR code it. Pairing complete, next. Now how cool is this? We've got it installed. I've got a red light on, you know what that tells me? Tells me it's closed. Well, 
And if you look at the app right here, it says needs install. Install the device on main water line. It's doing its job. It's telling me we don't detect any pressure. This thing is not installed. So it's doing exactly what it's supposed to. But here's what's cool. You see that? You see my phone? Oops, wrong button. You see my phone right down here at the bottom? It tells me the water's off. It also tells me I can run a health test if I want to. You know what that's gonna tell me? There's no pressure. Let's just see, health test. Area temperature 75, pressure zero PSI, zero flow rate. You know what? Got that right. So if I want this water to come on now, check this out. Hit the button, turn on water confirm. That's what it's supposed to do. A few minutes to install, a few minutes to connect, and then you have control to the valve to all the water of your house. Guys, make sure you install this in the right line. That way it shuts off the water to your entire house. Make sure you've got good internet, good power, so you don't have any problems. Plumbers, how good of a deal is this? If you can walk in to every house you go into from now on and say, hey, by the way, where's your remote leak detection system? Because I want to make sure it's working properly. When they tell you they don't have one, what a great opportunity for you to give them an option. Now remember, this video is sponsored by Ferguson. We team up with Ferguson, man, because of things like this. They allow us to teach you about products that are out there that can help us as plumbers make our jobs better and our customers' lives easier. I'm Roger Wakefield, and if you love this video, you're definitely gonna love that one.